What's up, YouTube world? Uh, I wanted to talk to you guys today about a few uh, interesting things uh, that happened to me today. Um, I uh, get called out to a certain area of town in the Jacksonville area. Um, <laughs> I feel like I was totally out of place when I got there. But, you know, the neighborhood came out of the woodwork. They came and watched me go to work on this property. It was... It must have been uh, like watching for a lot of YouTube viewers when uh, Greg Chisholm pulled up to that abandoned house or that uh, house that just hadn't had the uh, uh, sidewalk properly edged and all that for a very long time. Um, I got there. I mowed the yard. The, the homeowner wanted it, the grass cut really short. So I said... I will cut it as short as possible and uh, when I'm done knock on the door and uh, take payment so I go to town I got uh, probably about a dozen people watching me from their houses as I'm mowing the yard cutting the grass it's like they've never seen anybody cut grass before I'm sure they have, but you, you know, you, you get that different. Uh, pe get how do you say? It? You get the feeling that a lot of people are watching you, and it feels really awkward. And uh, so you're you're just mowing it, you're uh, trimming it, the edges, you're edging the uh, sidewalk, and it probably hasn't been edged in a while. So I guess they took notice of that. But the homeowner obviously liked the grass short, so it wasn't a problem there. So I didn't have to charge them extra for, uh, you know, overgrowth fee and a bagging fee. Um, it was just, you know, cut it and go and, you know, make everything look pretty good. It took me probably about an hour um, because, I mean, I used one of my larger mowers, but sometimes uh, you're dealing with uh, grass Bahia grass is like cutting um, uh, rope I guess is is a good way of saying it so if you don't have real sharp mower blades even though my uh, mower blades are fairly new um, when it comes to Bahia grass it it just doesn't want to be cut. Nope. It's like cutting a rope. Um, and it has a little phrase all over the place after you cut it. And you have to go over it again sometimes. Um, so sharp, uh, the blade to be the sharpest possible when you get to a yard with Bahia grass. Now I understand you're, you're not going to get out a a mower uh, blade sharpener every single time you uh, come across a yard with Bahia grass but when you're dealing with grass that's hard to cut sometimes very stubborn um, you just don't know what to do um, but take your time you want the yard to look really professional after you're done no matter what kind of grass you're going to be cutting you want it to look it um, like a masterpiece. You want to turn that yard that's out of shape, in the shape, and get referrals from it. Because people just came out to watch me mow, edge, and blow, you know, uh, do regular lawn maintenance to a yard that probably gets no extra care, especially edging in the sidewalk. Um, some of the runners from the uh, grass was, I wouldn't say in the middle of the sidewalk, but it was, you know, a quarter way there. Um, so, I mean, obviously it was a mixture of grass behavior with uh, St. Augustine, um, but it was good. It, uh, you had some trash to pick up in the backyard. Um, yeah, just kids leaving stuff in the, in the backyard around the uh, basketball hoop. Um, so this uh, particular client had a, a basketball hoop 
in the backyard for their kids. Uh, probably, um, I want to say uh, 20 by 20 or maybe 20 by 30 um, concrete patio with a basketball hoop there, which is pretty cool. So um, if you like the, this uh, subject matter, um, subscribe and like and uh, stay tuned for more. Thanks again.